This is the micro homily for the 9th of March. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. Yes, you read that right. In the heart of the fire, he began to pray. Azariah, along with his two companions, had been thrown into the furnace for refusing to abandon their faith, refusing to obey the king's command to worship a golden statue as if the statue were God. And they told the king, God may well save us, but if he doesn't, that's fine. We'll do it anyway. We will not obey. And his prayer in the heart of the fire isn't some self-pitying wheedling. It doesn't say, what have I done to deserve this? No. He acknowledges the sins of his people. Community responsibility was much more to the forefront than individual responsibility in his day. So it says, we as a people, yes, we've deserved this. But then he renews his trust in God. He knows what sort of God the living God is. If you want to know how the story ends, well, he and his two companions are saved from the furnace. In that gospel, the contrast is massive. A few months' wages versus, in today's money, eight and a half billion pounds. Billion with a B. And the man who's been forgiven that vast sum won't forgive his fellow worker. The consequence of that is his forgiveness is cancelled. As we make our way through Lent, we repent of our sins, we own up to the fact that we can't say, I've never done anything that would deserve any punishment. And if we want to hold on to the mercy God grants us, then we, in our turn, are to be merciful, forgiving, reconciling to others.